SOLIDWORKS 2015 enhances the sketching experience by adding new workflows and geometry creation tools to speed sketch creation. SOLIDWORKS has always had very powerful sketch relations and inferencing capabilities, and now these are even easier to apply. Sketch relation pop-ups are now available upon termination of a sketch entity, allowing you to immediately add sketch relations. When drawing a tangent arc, a pop-up toolbar appears, allowing you to add tangency at its termination as well. For a line, all appropriate relations are available, and when drawing a spline, you can add a perpendicularity, tangency, or curvature continuous relation. Sketching is so much easier by adding these relations on the fly. Adding sketch relations between two adjacent entities is much easier in SOLIDWORKS 2015. Just select the common vertex and the relation pop-up appears. Depending on the entity selected, the appropriate relations are presented. When selecting a line, SOLIDWORKS 2015 predicts the closer of a horizontal or vertical relation and highlights this in the pop-up toolbar, making it easier to make the right choice. This method of adding relations can help to reduce clicks by not having to select the items or box select. This sketch needs to have a dimension to define the angle, but we want the angular dimension to be the full angle, not just a half dimension to the center line. With SOLIDWORKS 2015, this is possible by holding down the shift key when placing the angle dimension. Just like with doubled dimensions for diameters, you can select other entities and continue to place more angle dimensions without having to reselect the center line. With SOLIDWORKS 2015, you can create a midpoint line. Select the midpoint and stretch out one side of the line. The other side is created symmetrically. As you continue to sketch, you are immediately taken to the standard line tool to complete the contour. And of course, a midpoint relation is added to maintain the symmetry. We've long had the ability to add construction lines to center point rectangles, but now you can add construction lines to all the rectangle types. These construction lines can originate from the corners or from the midpoint of the sides, your choice. Construction lines can be useful for locating the rectangle or for positioning other geometry to the center. A new segment tool has been added for SOLIDWORKS 2015, which provides an easy way of dividing sketch entities into equal parts or creating a series of sketch points at equal distances along the entity. When you split a line into segments, equal and collinear relations are added to each of the segments. The Select Chain tool is now available when working with construction geometry, just like any other sketch entities. Now that sketch looks so much better. Finally, the Segment tool can be useful for positioning points on a sketch entity, like for a bolt circle. For this case, we'll create eight sketch points around the circle. These points are coincident with the circle, but relations are not added. This can easily be done using the Fully Defined Sketch tool. If the dimensions do not meet your dimensioning scheme, they can be removed and the proper ones added.